What the crap? Ah. Ah. What's going on, Phoenicians? This beer is a bitch to open. Welcome back to Thirsty Thursdays. I can't believe it's already Thursday again. This here is the Yokohama Brewery Lager. I was in Yokohama a few weeks ago. Actually, I think it was last week. This one has a pretty good smell to it. And I found this beer at Yokohama Akaringa, right? The most famous touristy part of Yokohama with like the red brick warehouse it's called, I think, right? Well, they have this beer that they were selling there and I decided to try this one out. Now this here is a lager from Yokohama Brewery itself. 5% alcohol, it says here. So without further ado, let's dive right into this one, huh? As you can see, it's a very amber color, which is unusual for lagers. Lagers are usually lighter in color. Yeah, this beer is a very uh, straightforward beer, kind of uh, light looking. Very, uh, actually, they might have uh, put a little bit of dry hop in this. It's a bit of a biting smell to it. Yokohama Brewery has a few different uh, beers that they make, and they started out as a G beer company, and then they kind of branched out into the craft beer market because they're competing most of the Sant Gallen. Sant Gallen is the more well-known craft brewery, whereas this is the G beer, but they have a bison and a stout, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Now, the uh, G beer breweries, they typically like to make uh, bisons as well because those are easier to make, I guess. On the label, you see what appears to be uh, Meiji era Yokohama with an American ship and American trading posts on this part of the label here. I don't know if you guys can see this that well. And uh, people are sitting here on the shore of Yokohama Bay greeting the uh, traders. So this is a pretty cool little beer. So let's try this one out. Cheers. Hmm. It's pretty good. Not really dry hop, but so yeah, it's very smooth for a lager. Sorry about that, I regret to say that when I compied the camera, it left a smudge on it. So this is my second time recording this, so uh, oh, I'm sad because there was a cop car I drove by and it was really loud and funny, but anyway, this is a very uh, typical G beer, I guess, what you would say, because uh, it tastes like a G beer, it has a lot of uh, malt to it, right? A lot of wheat, a lot of malt, it's a very straightforward beer. Yeah, I had a lager earlier today for uh, dinner, and that lager was a typical lager that you would, you know, like a very refreshing type of lager, right? Easy to drink, uh, very brisk tasting lager. Now this is actually a very malty uh, lager itself. My phone just went off. And this is exactly what you expect from a Japanese uh, beer. A lot of these G beer companies are really, really trying to compete and they are succeeding with the Japanese craft beer market. You can find this beer, I got this in Yokohama, but like they, they sell this, for example, Good Beer Faucets down the street here in Shibuya. They sell this there, and they have other bre uh, other beers from uh, Yokohama Brewery there as well. Yeah, very typical uh, Japanese G beer. Now if you don't know what G beer is, it literally means local beer, right? It's Local breweries from normally used sort of like for touristy purposes or for omiyage uh, souvenirs, right? And the G beer companies sort of went out of style during the uh, depression of the 90s. And with the resurgence of craft beer, these companies are coming back and really trying to modernize. For example, Issei Karuya, right? They started out as G beer and now they are one of my favorite craft breweries. Now these guys are pretty good, but their direct competitor is Sant Gallen. And Sant Gallen has some really good beer. So these guys have been really trying to uh, compete with some of the G beer companies. For example, a lot of the beers that these guys make, they have a bison, and then they have a porter as well. So that's very typical for a, a, a Japanese brewery, but it's pretty good. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and like I said, sorry for the image change. I had to, uh, I didn't, when I was editing, I didn't realize that the camera was smudged up, and I just wanted to completely redo it. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did. And I will see you all next Thursday in the next episode of Thirsty Thursdays. Cheers, Phoenicians. Let's not smudge the camera this time. When once was a lad of 22, I fell upon my way. My life devoid of meaning and my conscience led astray. Till a wise man took me by the hand and said, lad, you're in luck. The only way to salvation.
You ain't smudged, is you? 